What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how to get hotter, more consistent heat from your outdoor flat top griddle or barbecue grill. I'm going to be working on a 36 inch blackstone griddle, but uh, this trick applies to all flat top grills or uh, barbecue grills or whatever. So let's do it. To get started, you'll need a set of curved pipe burners. You can find a link to these in the description below. A drill with a Phillips drill bit. A 0 to 20 PSI propane hose. You can also find a link to these in the description below. A small drill bit to pre-drill your screw points. A marker to mark where you're pre-drilling your holes. A 19 millimeter wrench. A grinder. And some screws to hold down your burners. First, you're gonna to wanna to disconnect your propane. Then take your 19 millimeter wrench and disconnect the hose from the grill. And use the drill to disconnect it from the stand. Then you can go ahead and take the cooktop off to reveal the burners underneath. Now you can get your drill and go ahead and unscrew your burners. Then go ahead and remove your burners. They just pop right out. You can put those aside as spares or use them elsewhere. If you look inside, you can see the orifice. That's what you're gonna be sliding the new burner right over. These are the carryover tubes. There's not enough room for those and the new burners. So you're gonna to wanna to look underneath and find the rivets that are holding them in place. You're gonna to wanna to take the grinder and grind those rivets off to remove the carryover tubes. Once you have those rivets grinded down, you can just go ahead and pop off the carryover tubes. Next, take a curved pipe burner and set it in place so you can mark your screw points. Take your marker and make a dot wherever you're gonna have a screw hold the burner in place. Once you have your new screw points marked, you can go ahead and begin to pre-drill. After you're done pre-drilling, go ahead and set all of your new burners in place. Then go ahead and screw your burners in place. Once your new burners are put in place and screwed down, you can go ahead and install your new hose. Connect it back up to the grill with the same 19 millimeter wrench. And attach it back into place on the grill. Then go ahead and connect it to the propane. Go ahead and open your propane valve and turn your pressure gauge on about half a turn. Then go ahead and turn the propane on on your grill and press the ignition button. Then you can go ahead and turn on multiple burners and turn your pressure gauge up. That'll give you more gas and a bigger flame. The pressure gauge controls how much gas is actually going into the line. So the more you open it up, the more gas you get, the more heat. What you've done here is essentially doubled your burning surface area and increased your heat output by about two times. 